What's going on guys, Ravi right here. And today we're doing a video that I plan to do for a very long time. I promised that I was gonna do it here in the channel. Uh, we're actually installing the bed liner on the truck right now. It's gonna be a two piece. This is the back part. And then we have the bigger part back here. Um, I order it from four accessory. It took a very long time, almost like two, almost three weeks to get here. I don't know why it took so long, but we finally got it and we're gonna install it here in the truck and let you guys know how it goes with the installation. Already got some trouble already when it arrived to me because this part was shipped to me in a plastic bag and it came with screws and everything. So, but no box, just like that. However, this part right here, the big part right here, they ship it like it is, as you see it right here. They just put a, a sticker right here, the shipping labels, and they ship it like that. So it has already some, some type of damage in the corners, like kind of at the bottom right here. But, um, and also it's missing screws. So a bunch of like screws and, you know, L brackets and things like that. So what I did, I kind of went ahead already and made up my own L brackets. I'm gonna be showing you guys right here. Already kind of cut some bracket, measure it, and paint it in black. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Because I was not gonna send that back and everything to see what they're gonna do. They're gonna send me a new one. And they say, no, you're gonna have to send that back and then we'll send you another one. I was like, well, you guys took too long to send this over here. So I said, screw that. I'm not gonna send it back. And I'm just gonna keep it. Cause it, you know, serves the purpose. But it did came with some damage and I'll show you guys in a minute. But if you wanna be alone for the ride, you know, just hit that like and that subscribe. Let me know if this video helped you out. If you wanna be kind as well, follow me on social media, uh, Rafi underscore red and Instagram. And also, you know, hit that thanks button if you're able to do so. So with that said, let's get on with the installation right here of the bed liner here for the Ford Maverick. Let's go. All right guys, so pretty much the bed liner kit comes separate in two parts. This is the bigger section that covers the whole back of the Maverick. And then underneath, I have the other part that covers this area right here. And it comes in two separate parts. They cost differently as well. I will put the links and information and prices all above and probably here in the video as well. But this is like a hard, super hard plastic. I'm pretty sure different material, but it's a super extremely hard plastic and it's pretty good, it's nice, nice and rugged uh, form. And it also uh, lines with the lines for the Maverick as well. And for here, just kind of give you like a little warning, say that don't fill the tanks, you know, any on the bed truck, do it on the floor, kind of like that. Now online, it said that there was gonna be a four Maverick oval sign. And I looked everywhere and I don't see any four Maverick logo or just four in general on the one here or on the one at the bottom either so i have not seen none of that this part all you see is this this is kind of where the camera module and everything is on all the different stuff actually the camera modules down here that's kind of cool you have that we're gonna actually put it back in there this piece right here and attach it with the other screws so let's see I really know don't know why the instruction said to put this right here um, uh, but I'm doing it to put in this adhesive right here, covering those holes. Don't know what the reason for is, but I'm going to do that. So let's put the, uh, part right now, bed liner. Now we're going to actually get in with these right here. We're going to put them inside those holes and then inside those holes, it's going to be these screws. It's going to come with it so we can actually attach it. Way. 
All right, guys, so what we ended up doing is actually putting the tailgate cover, bed liner cover right here. This is very simple to install. As I mentioned before, you remove the screws, the original screws, you lay it flat, and then you put in these little covers with the new screws so I can cover the whole back. And then they'll hold the whole side area here as well, everything. And it's pretty much aligned and fit properly, you know, the Maverick right here, all the way around it, covering everything good. Uh, it does cover this area right here, but you still can use this bottle opener right here or anchor points right here. So, and then all this, and it's very nice and fit precisely back here, covering all areas uh, when you're like getting on top or getting, you know, um, in here. So that's pretty good. So before we install the back liner right here, the one on the back, we want to remove these screws right here. This one has a start uh screw right here we have to remove those anchors and then they're going to be on top of the uh bed liner right here we also got to do for the other side you kind of want to clean the whole bed make sure that there's no debris or anything like that in it and then back here what i did already is remove this two uh screws right here this anchor point but that's how i'm going to attach the l bracket right here i'm going to put this like this so it can actually hold the actual back piece right here. And then I'm gonna re-put, reattach the other anchor point along in the same area. So I painted it black, so everything looks matchy-matchy, you know? And we have this one right here at the top. So the same thing goes for the other side. Once the bed liner is on the floor and the bed mat right here in the back, we're gonna remove this one and attach it with the L bracket. You'll see that in a second. And that what that one looks like right here, already installed. Looks nice. It's nice and form-fitted to the back part right here. I really like it. So now we're gonna work on this piece right here. So let's go. All right, so what we're gonna use here is a T40 star socket right here to remove the uh, screws right here. This bolt right here. All right, so now that we have removed those two anchor points right there with all those screws, what we're going to do is actually get the piece inside here and try to reattach it again uh, with the uh, screws and the bolts on top of it so it can hold the piece at the very end over there and then we're going to do the uh, bottom part right here let's get on with that All right, guys, so what you got to get is actually this piece of metal right here. And then what I'm doing is actually measure the actual length of the actual nuts, bolts, uh, the distance from it. This is where the piece is going to be bending, so it's going to go inside. You get a screwdriver. I'm sorry. You get a drill with this part right here so you can actually make the holes really easily. And make the holes so you can actually bend and use that for the back part. And then what we're gonna do is actually cut it, the metal, right at the same angle right here with a grinder. Let's go. All right guys, so you guys saw how we bend this metal right here. We made the L bracket, we made the two holes for the anchor point and then this L shape down here so we can actually get it tight at the bottom along with this part right here. So I'm gonna try it out to see how it works.
All right, so by putting this right here, we can see here that it doesn't really close all the gaps, all the areas, it doesn't go all the way to the end right here. And then when it comes here to the back also, it doesn't get all the way out here. And also, if you're using a two by four or anything like that, this right here may prevent for the two by four to go all the way down. It would just lay on top of here unless you cut this area right here. Um, it kind of reaches to all the way to the back, so that's kind of okay. Uh, it doesn't reach all the way to the end right here. If I were to move, it doesn't reach because the rails, this actually goes on top of the actual truck rails. So kind of reach that area. Also, again, more gap right here. We're just, this area is okay. This area here is actually covering this door. So you have to push down and it doesn't go to the very end. Also needs to be probably cut down later on. But for now, it seems to be okay. So let's move it all the way to the front. So it doesn't move at all. And it reaches all the way to the back because I put it further back. Might be able to do it like that. So, who knows? We'll see. We'll take a look at it as we go. So, I might I might do keep it all the way to the bottom right here. So, let's see. Let's tie these things down. All right, guys, so we finished installing and putting back the screws over there. We got that one over there. We have that on the other side. And what I did is actually push the uh, bed liner back, as, as back as I can right here, so I can cover this area right here much better, and not so much in the uh, back area over there. So I moved it all the way back. Also, that way I can use the L bracket right here a lot better. It will be tighter on both sides. So that's gonna be our next step, tightening those uh, screws over there, and then it will be locked in place. All right, guys, so we finally finished adding the brackets with the anchor point in its place and tying it back up. I'm gonna actually paint this black so it doesn't look like it's sticking out or like it's different. But um, also on the other side, we did the same thing and it looks nice, it looks perfect. It looks factory, perfectly done, like I like it, you know? So, and it works pretty good, you know, it's holding up. I like it a lot, it's sturdy. What I'm gonna do later on, not now, not in this video, is actually shave these areas down a little bit more. These are the damage that I mentioned that uh, happened while I was shipping. The same thing for the other side here to make it more, you know, rounded. So it won't be so sharp like this and uneven. But it is pretty nice, it is pretty good. I like it. So yeah, we got it. We got the job done. All right, and this is the final product. We have the tailgate right here bed liner really nice mounted everything good and we have the uh, bed truck right here also bed liner cover all set up and good ready to go so uh, one thing that i wanted to mention is that on the website it says that there is an oval uh four logo sign in maverick and i do not see it at all in this bed liner right here so anywhere not even on the front or the back side the bed liner logo is that so don't know what they're saying in the website, but it looks pretty good for Maverick with the XLT package right here. Well, there you go, guys. That was the installation of the uh, bed liner right here for the Ford Maverick for the back part and the front part here of the uh, tailgate. 
So let me know what you guys think. You know, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe and share it with other people. If you have any questions, let me know also in the comments down below. And with that said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Rafi Red, signing out.